Now, we've had lots of conversations on, on this very show about consent in light of the Me Too movement. The latest thing that has got people talking is an expert saying that forcing kids to sit on Santa's knee is damaging and even dangerous because it gives children mixed messages about consent. Now, when I first heard this, I thought, oh, it's just kids sitting on Santa's knee. But actually, when you step back and think about it, maybe they've got a point. I really, I really struggle with this debate because, on the one hand, I immediately go, no, why do we, why do we automatically think everybody is a paedophile or a pervert or, you know, going to attack well, our children? Well, not everybody, every guy. Yeah, yes. every man. Mm. Yeah, well, it is. If it was mm. Mrs Claus, no-one would bat an eyelid. But I... On the, on the other hand, I'm so glad there are these questions being raised because I do think we will have a generation of children who will be aware of, of, of abuse mm. when it's happening, yeah. who will mm. be able to see the signs, who will be able to better protect themselves. But uh, ultimately, it's, it scares me that we're, it's going to go to a point where, especially for men, they're not sure where, who they are, what they can do, where, how they can behave around yeah. um, women yeah. and, and young girls. I, th I think the thing that's said, and we have to make sure, of course, that's not... I mean, these are people who are playing Santa, the real Santa's yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, the key word for the, in that sentence for me was forced. And, I mean, I don't think you force children to mm. do anything. Mm. No. You know, like, my elder daughter was quite happy to sit on Santa's knee because she thought, oh, there's a present in this. Uh, the yeah. little one... I've got a fantastic photograph, actually, of yeah. the little one and um, a Santa and my dad. And she's like, yeah. I mean, it's absolutely captured because she just was... But you see, I never would have found pictures her. like that hilarious, Kay. And, oh, and I quite don't. like looking through <laughs> when you see pictures of kids like, like this. I find them... Really, and now I feel I must be an evil woman but because evil. I find it's them It's an funny. important people point that you're making. Do anything. It's a really no. important point that you're making, isn't it? I remember you chat chatting to me in the corridor the other day day about this and you were saying how your mum had always made a point that when Stacey and her siblings yeah. were growing up that if they cried and didn't want to go to somebody Stacey's mum would say no they're not going I grew up in a family yeah. where was like, don't be silly go to your auntie quick go and she'd like pick me up my head cheeks yeah. and, she'd yeah. and, yeah. and I'd be screaming yeah. and I think from that early age you learn all oh, right okay what i don't want physically i just do it because it's nice that's so, and so interesting. if your child is happily going yeah. to, to santa's lap that's fine yeah. but if yeah. they're crying and screaming you're teaching them to go against their instinct yeah and i think sure. you're right because that is the time they are developing their instinct mm. and that's what's going to keep them safest in later life is yeah. that they do highly develop yeah. that instinct of i don't like the situation i'm not comfortable i'm not going to go yeah. there yeah, or well, actually no. i am yeah you it know. also has an effect on the other party so the Santas or, you know, mm. I, I know that, that my dad has often hesitated and even stopped going to pick up a child that's crying mm. or going to help yeah. a child if yeah. there aren't lots of people around. So it has, a shame. on the other end of the spectrum, you know, it has stopped mm. men from being able to express emotion or love mm. to young Absolutely, children because yeah. they feel that they, they might be caught out. I mean, it when is. I think of my dad, my dad was the best person in the world with babies. On an aeroplane, if there's a baby crying, he would take that... Well, he wouldn't take somebody's baby, but, I mean, <laughs> he could yeah. take any yeah. baby and it would be... Within a second. Oh. And I think we absolutely want to encourage that yeah. in our men. We want to see it more and more because that's what most guys are like. I mean, you go to most of Europe, you could be sitting in Spain or Greece or somewhere, mm. couldn't you? And you could see a baby and you could go and you could play with them. Pick I would not do that here. So no. I was sad. desperate with this baby the other day. I was in this restaurant, so I wanted to go and get it. And I wouldn't do it, but I would do that in other countries. Yeah. Is there, you know, my mum was talking about just, just yesterday. She put round and apparently my dad, they were in a department store and he was just waiting outside the loose for mum to come out and there was a, a little girl there and he was just going goo 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 and you know making funny faces and uh the mum came over and gave him a like what, what are you doing and he was so in bat i'm just oh, waiting for my no. wife you know i'm just oh. and my dad's the same the oh, nicest nicest man and now he can't even go Ooh, to a sad. little girl um we did a we did a poll on this we asked is there anything wrong with making your children sit on santa's knee, knee? and 62 percent say no no there's nothing wrong with it but that still means almost Unless half said yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 38% said yes. Yep. 